Today, I will be showing you guys how to spawn the Kitsune Island 100% of the time. This method is the best method out there and has been tested several times by myself. So, for this journey, you need a pale scarf. That's what a lot of people say, because many believe that you should be in a server full of people, and you need to be able to see those people in case anyone falls out of the boat or someone tries to fight off sea enemies. In reality, you don't need people to do some shrine hunting. When I shrine hunt, I hunt with two, four people, and we don't really fight off sea enemies. We all go to the opposite side of Tiki Outpost and enter a ship when it's the day before a full moon. The ship I use is the Sentinel ship because it's great for dodging sea events, and it's pretty fast. After everyone is on the boat, I move the boat a bit to see the sun. A common mistake is to leave early, like when the sun is still rising or even when the sun is in the middle. I recommend leaving way later than that. I usually leave when the sun is setting, not when the sun is barely setting, but when it's clearly setting, like right now. This still gives us plenty of time to get to zone 6 before the full moon arises. Even if you were to somehow lose the boat sometime in the first three zones, you would still have enough time to start from the beginning and reach zone 6 before the full moon. Make sure to move toward the sun, specifically where the sun sets. This next part is the part that goes wrong for many people. Many people go too late and many people go too early. When you reach zone 5 and are on the edge of zone 6, back up a bit and wait until the sun touches the water's surface. Then, move your boat towards the sun and enter zone 6. This method has always worked for me, 6 for 6. Then it's time to collect azure embers. I use the pilot helmet, mink race, and the ice fruit for this part. Buddha, Kitsune, Mammoth, and even Portal work well for collecting azure embers but I use ice since it is the easiest fruit to get out of the five and works just as well. Make sure to zoom in on your camera and use the ice awakened F move. Then, all you do is chase after the azure embers while holding F. It's pretty easy to catch them with this method. Then, once you have 20 plus azure embers, you can offer them to the shrine and pray that you get something good. This is the best method to reach the Kitsune Island and get all the new items. So here's a quick recap. Step one, get a small team of people. Two to four is ideal. Step two, buy the Sentinel boat. Step three, start moving towards the sun once the sun starts to set fast. Step four, wait at the fifth zone until the sun touches the water's surface. Step five, enter in the sixth zone you'll find the Kistun Island. Step six, be mink race and use pilot helmet with either Buddha, Kitsune, Mammoth, Portal, or Ice to collect a lot of Azure Embers. Those are the six steps to success. Here's a sped up video of me finding the Kitsune Island following all the steps.
This is what happens when you do not follow those six steps. If this video helped you and you want more videos like this, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.